हेलो एवरीवन आई एम लोकेश एंड वेलकम बैक टू दी चैनल सो फ्रेंड्स दिस वीडियो इज बेसिकली ऑन एन फाइनल राउंड प्रिपरेशन फॉर दी 2022 बैच एज वी नो दैट इन फिटी क्यू क्वालिफायर राउंड रिजल्ट इज डिक्लेयर एंड वी हैव टू प्रिपेयर फॉर द फाइनल राउंड एंड दिस टाइम द ओनली लेस डेज आर रिमेनिंग फॉर द फाइनल राउंड प्रिपरेशन सो वी हैव लेस टाइम ओनली सिक्स डेज बिकॉज द फाइनल राउंड डेट इज एटीन एंड नाइनटीन अप्रैल As I already said in my previous video of NFTQ roadmap, roadmap to NFTQ final round. That what are the some date of final round? What is the process of final round? And uh, what is the what about the preparation of final round? Okay. So as I already uploaded the video in the particular playlist, uh, that is this roadmap to NFTQ final round. You can see that. And uh, I already uploaded the two videos on the previous year. Questions that is asked related to the Python Java in the final round examination. So this is video number one, and this is video number two. You can check the particular question and soon the more upcoming uh, and soon the more related video for the preparation of final round uploaded. Okay. So what is the uh, what is the particular today's topic for this video? There are the some point that are related to final round preparation. As you can see that on the screen that this is the mail that I got from the Infosys certification team after clearing the final round. That dear Lokesh Bagura, congratulations! We are delighted to inform that you have cleared the final round of Infosys certification. Okay, so what is the today's agenda? And let's see what we have to particular uh, crack. and prepare for the infitq final round of infosys certification exam okay so in the particular video i discuss for the python and java also okay so what is the for infitq and hack with infi related update you can join our telegram channel this is the link and for all updates on youtube channel check this link i will given the pdf link in the description okay so what are the some most important point that are related to particular infitq final round how to crack infitq final round exam what are the important topics for coding and mcq parts third point is what is my approach to solve problem in infitq final round what is the difficulty of final round what is the passing criteria less time 6 days remaining only how to prepare in less time resources coding question practice practice platform for coding okay so uh, let's move on to the first point that is uh, related to how to crack infitq final round exam okay so as we know that for the infitq final round you have to understand the particular condition that is related to this point there are the coding section okay as we know that there is 3 hours of time and you need to solve the particular there are the two coding question and there are the 20 mcq in which they consist of different part that is related to particular if you select java or if you select python so 10 mcq are from java and python so it include all like object oriented programming and other and uh, there is 10 questions of dbms and uh, as uh, as we know that uh, as i already said in my previous video there is no negative marking in the particular or uh, in the coding section okay so there is no negative marking and you need to solve the particular questions in 3 hour and uh, there are the 20 mcq so what we have to analysis the particular that how to clear uh, how to crack infitq or uh, final round so it is uh, it is just the basic concept that is related to the particular process of final round and what about uh, the preparation or uh, how to crack okay so there is important point that we have to discussed in the uh, we have to discuss the combined point that is related to the last time six day how to prepare in last time resources coding question practice okay so we combine first and sixth point and let's understand okay so you have only six days remaining okay so you have to particular you have to particular solve the coding questions daily this is my uh, means my approach and this is the my strategy that i uh, prepare for the final round at my time okay so you need to particular solve the coding questions daily at least one uh, at least two to three questions solve daily because there is less time and you need to solve the particular questions daily okay so solve previous year question more okay so as i soon share the combined pdf that contains the uh, most of the uh, most of the previous year question uh, uh, that contains the previous year question as we know that nftq final round is from 2020 and it is for also 2021 batch 
सो देर आर दी टू इयर्स ऑफ प्रीवियस ईयर क्वेश्चन दैट आई सून शेयर ऑन द टेलीग्राम ग्रुप ओके सो यू हैव सिक्स डेज रिमेनिंग एंड यू नीड टू सॉल्व कोडिंग क्वेश्चन डेली फॉर एम सी क्यू जस्ट यू हैव टू प्रिपेयर दी प्रिपेयर दी प्रीवियस थिंग दैट यू हैव ऑलरेडी बिकॉज एम सी क्यू आर ज एम सी क्यू लेवल इज नॉट डिफिकल्ट द लेवल ऑफ पर्टिकुलर एम सी क्यू इज रिलेटेड टू क्वालिफायर राउंड एग्जाम ओके फॉर कोडिंग क्वेश्चन यू नीड टू प्रैक्टिस डेली फ्रॉम प्रीवियस ईयर कोडिंग क्वेश्चन ओके एंड फ्रॉम द हैकर रैंक प्लेटफॉर्म जस्ट गो टू हैकर रैंक प्लेटफॉर्म एंड चेक द पर्टिकुलर फॉलोइंग resources or particular following coding question that is given in the particular hacker rank platform of the uh, particular language like python and java and there are so many question that is related to data structures and algorithm so this two important point is uh, this two important task is very important because you need to solve the particular programming question that is previously asked and practice on hacker rank platform so it is important to understand the logic that is asked and uh, that is related to particular preparation okay so uh, how to crack infitq final round exam and less time six day how to prepare in less time okay so you have less time you need to follow this strategy first you need to apply the, uh, first you need to solve the particular questions and uh, apply uh, and there are so many platform like hacker rank and the lead code as you can solve the particular question that is related at my time i just only solve the questions from hacker rank for practice because hacker rank is an efficient way of uh, presenting the questions like in terms of beginner intermediate and the advanced level so according to the particular topics the questions are arranged in such a way another platform are arranged uh, questions in some other way okay but in the hacker rank there are the topics like string array so this uh, is this is the important way to solve and prepare for the nftq qualifier round exam nftq final round exam okay and uh, second question is what are the important topics for coding in mcq part okay so as we know that infosys certification is combination of objective and hands on question you need to complete it in 3 hours java and python hands on two question and 10 questions of uh, multiple choice of java python if you select any one from this and dbms is same from java and python there is 10 question okay for coding session uh, for coding section there are important topics there are five important very important topics there are question that is related to particular matrix or string concept there is string rotation related questions also you need to particular rotate the string okay there are the problem solving and logic based question just like if you want to possible find the possible largest even number that is given in the particular string okay so there are the questions related to particular dictionary or data structures of python or uh, uh, talking about the java so there are the uh, questions related to problem solving part of okay so there is uh, some algorithm question that is previously asked in my friends exam that is related to greedy and dynamic programming so you need to particular understand uh, the concept of greedy and dynamic programming so this questions and this concepts is were very important and there are the question that is related to array also so these are the some important topic that is related to particular coding section and it is same for the java and python for mcq same as previous for uh, dbms and java and python that i discussed in the previous video for qualifier round preparation okay so what is my approach to solve problem in nftq final round as i discussed uh, my strategy that uh, how i uh, solved the particular uh, two programming question in just one hour so what is my strategy uh, and uh, what is my approach to solve the pr programming problem in easy way okay so there is 3 hour time okay so i divided that uh, first to 2 hour okay first 2 hour i spend on coding section okay as we know that nftq qualifier round exam has uh, some uh, time limit section for the particular section but at my time there is no sections in the particular infitq final round exam that you need to particularly solve the mcq after that you will go for the coding section but if it is changes so it will be particular you need to particular solve the in the particular time but at my time there is no time limit section you have 3 hour you just solve the particular you have to solve the particular 20 mcq question and uh, there is a uh, two programming question okay and there is time limit is 3 hour so uh, i divided the particular 2 hour for the coding question only 
बिकॉज कोडिंग क्वेश्चन हैज इम्पॉर्टेंट पार्ट ओके सो वॉट इज द इम्पॉर्टेंट पार्ट दैट इज रिलेटेड टू कोडिंग क्वेश्चन इफ आई टॉक अबाउट द वेटेज ऑफ कोडिंग क्वेश्चन ओके If I talk about the weightage of coding question, you need to uh, you need to for selecting in the NFTQ final round, you need to score sixty five percent or above to become Infosys certified software programmer. Okay, so firstly, I divided what is the coding percentage. If uh, uh, this is the predictive like sixty percentage for the two coding question, like thirty percentage is one and thirty percentage is another for two. There are sixty percentage of coding question. and mcq is 40% so 60 plus 40 is total 100 so this is the weightage that is related to the nftq final round exam as you can solve the two programming question as plus the mcq also so you need to particularly uh, maintain this 65% so this is predictive as my time uh, as many friends solve the particular two programming question and uh, they also do the mcq also so they will be definitely selected in the particular this round so this is the predictive it can be changes or depend or uh, select uh, or depended by the infosys nftq team or decided by the nftq team okay so this is predictive at uh, related to the 60 and 40% okay so this is the basic concept so first two hour is for the what is the what is the particular concept here so first two hour is for the coding section and i just only solve the particular coding questions in one hour only and there is two hour remaining all test cases is passed in my case so how i uh, how i the code is efficient in uh, terms of particularly all test cases is passed so you can uh, use the particular uh, uh, particular functions or particular method that can be used uh, or that can be given in the particular python program or the java program you just uh, need to add your logic in between them okay and uh, there is some constraint also you need to uh, you need to identify the particular constraint or you need to solve the in terms in between okay so i divided the 2 hour for the coding section and last hour 1 hour for the mcq section because if i solve half uh, because if i solve half um, half mcq questions in half hour and uh, if i solve the particular 10 mcq question in half hour and 10 uh, mcq question in another half hour so i have uh, many time like 30 30 minutes for the particular 10 question so this uh, time is uh, this time is most important and in this particular you need to solve the particular mcq that is related so the particular my strategy is uh, that i divided the first the 2 hour for the coding section because it is important to ensure that if all the test cases pass in the particular two programming question so it it is very good okay so this is the my strategy that is and my approach to solve a problem in nftq final round okay so what is the difficulty of final round as i talk about the difficulty of final round there are some coding question that is ask uh, re related to the data structure and algorithms and some algorithms also like greedy and dynamic programming and there are the some questions that is related to problem solving so you need to particular practice on hacker rank platform and hacker rank platform is best for practicing the coding question because the level assigned by divided like from the beginner intermediate or uh, i can say that medium or uh, the advanced level okay what is the fifth point the fifth point is what is the passing criteria 65% is important to ensure that if you are selected and if you are selected for the final round you need to score 65% in the particular exam and uh, after that you will be uh, infosys certified software programmer and you are eligible for the interview behavioral interview or for the role of systems engineer at infosys okay so what is the practice platform for coding hacker rank okay so it is very important what is the my approach as you can see that as i discussed uh, what is the my approach to solve the pro particular problems but there as we know that there are 3 hours of full exam two section coding and mcq there is no negative marking in final round what is our first target we need to score 65% if uh, they more it is very better but we need to first identify the 65% okay so first the you have to divide the time and solve the question that i divided like the 2 hour for the coding question and uh, just 1 hour for the mcq section because it is important to ensure that if the all the test case pass in the first question and the second question okay so you uh, you scored the particular 60 percentage in the particular coding question because the coding question weightage is more than the particular mcq question okay 
so i rub this so this is the related uh, from the previous experience or previous trend that uh, my friends uh, also solve the particular two coding question that is related in the nftq final round exam okay so code efficiency all test case pass and section weightage coding and mcq that i already discussed that there is a section weightage of 60 percent and 40 percent as uh, Infosys team is not disclosed that but this is the predictive that is related to the particular NFTQ final round examination okay so less time how to prepare in remaining day as I already discussed solve and practice question coding questions daily for MCQ section you just need to uh, check the previous videos or you just need to uh, particular uh, apply or particular solve the previous uh, questions that is previously asked or you have also knowledge related to the particular question that is in the uh, that is asked in the qualifier round exam okay solve hacker rank medium level question for best practices there are three level like beginner intermediate medium or advanced so if you solve the particular medium level question or advanced level question it will be very best right strategy follow the right strategy you will definitely you will crack exam because the time is less and do not practice coding question from so much platform like uh, i also practice on hacker rank uh, hacker earth and lead code you just need to focus on the particular part or the particular questions that is related to previously asked as i already said that this is the some important topic that is related to the particular infitq final round exam so this video is related to the particular infitq final round preparation and soon upcoming in soon more videos are uploaded related to the infitq final round preparation of questions series practice series because only six days in remaining and we have to solve the more question as we can okay and uh, in the particular playlist you will see the particular uh, a uh, videos that is related to nftq preparation there are 53 videos and the playlist name is nftq infosys preparation and i also attach the link in the description also and uh, congrats uh, for the selected candidates and those who are not selected don't uh, lose uh, motivation or don't lose hope because there are so many opportunities like hack with infi and there are so many opportunities from other mncs also okay if you are selected so very very congress as you can see as you can see in the particular comment section that i uploaded video in morning that uh, uh, thank you sir i have been selected waiting for more videos for final round so this is related to the final round okay so i think this video is useful for everyone i hope this video is useful for everyone if you have any doubt just drop your query in the comment section and prepare best for the infitq final round exam because less time and you need to uh, proper uh, you need to apply and you need to follow the particular right strategy to crack the exam okay so if you have any doubt dm me on instagram and uh, if you have any doubt related to the particular final round preparation you can just ask your ask in the comment section also thanks for watching the video